Right then, in this video, we're taking you to look at a cone double deck lift. This lift is completely, utterly awesome. And this is the first time I've managed to do a full detailed look at a double deck. Now, this isn't the first time I've surfed a double deck, because I did surf a double deck in Tower 42 in London. But let's just say that building was a bit too secure. As for a building in this video, I can surf a lift all day as much as I want to. So then, what is a double deck lift? It is a self two lift cars, a car for lower deck, one car for the upper deck, and it's got one big chassis around for two lifts. So it's effectively two lifts within the same chassis, and you have two cars serving two floors at a time. This is different to a twin lift. A twin lift is where you have two completely separate working lift cars serving the same shaft space as each other and it's very much an algorithm based way of working so that the different cars serve the different floors and don't crash into each other. As for a double deck lift like lifts in this video, this is two lift cars but actually physically joined together by one single chassis. So then, there's actually four different types of double deck lift scenario. So, before the days of destination dispatch, you did have double deck lifts. Usually, these were done as a shuttle lift to the halfway in interchange floor in a skyscraper. On this skyscraper setup, I call it the podium interchange system, you have a skyscraper divided into four different zones, one, two, three, and four. Zones one and two are served by two separate sets of lifts going from the ground floor up to zones one and up to zone two. Then you have a set of double deck lifts that go non-stop from the ground floor up to the interchange levels. Then if you take the lower car of the double deck lifts up to the lower interchange level, you then change to a set of lifts serving zone three. If you take the upper deck of the double deck lifts going up to the upper interchange level, you then change to another set of lifts going to zone 4. And that is a very efficient way of running lifts in a building because the lifts to zone 3 are directly above the lifts to zone 1 and the lifts to zone 4 are directly above the lifts to zone 2. This means you're reducing the number of shafts you need to have in the building. So then, in London, I know of three towers that use this setup, which are the Heron Tower, Tower 42 and the Shard. But this is not the setup we'll be taking a look at in this video. Now, there is a second type of double deck lift setup, and this second type of setup is the passenger and goods setup. This setup does not use destination dispatch. In fact, when you're a passenger using this lift, it'll feel like any other lift. When you press the button for the lift, the passenger lift cart will arrive and you can then get inside it. But if you've got goods, you can turn a key and then you'll get the goods lift car arrive at the floor. And that's so that heavy goods uses a different car to the passengers so that the passenger lift car doesn't get all bashed up by the goods being used in it. Now there is a third double deck setup and that is the odd and even setup with the lower car serving the odd floors and the upper car serving the even floors. And interestingly, these three setups can all be used without destination dispatch. Podium interchange setup doesn't use destination dispatch. Goods and passenger setup doesn't use destination dispatch and the odd and even setup has a choice it can use destination dispatch but it can also work without destination dispatch but in this video we're not going to be looking at any of those three setups we're going to be looking at a fourth type of double deck setup which has to use destination dispatch this fourth type of double deck lift is a very modern thing based on an algorithm around a destination dispatch system this setup is the algorithm setup which is where both the upper and lower deck of the double deck lifts can serve all floors, meaning that when you choose your floor and destination dispatch, sometimes the upper deck will come and serve your call, other times the lower deck will come and serve your call, all based around what the algorithm thinks is most efficient. So then, on a building that's got two different entrance levels, such as lower and upper ground floors, this system would work fine. But as this building only has one entrance level, it's only got one ground floor, there is an issue. How can both decks of a double deck lift serve a ground floor at the same time? Well, there has to be a mezzanine. And because of this, when the people enter into the building, when they enter through the barriers that I have to scan their pass on to be let into the building, the barriers will sometimes tell them to take the lift from the ground floor, and sometimes the barriers will tell people to take the escalators to the mezzanine and take the lift from the mezzanine. And this is done at random to make sure that both the lower and upper decks both get equal usage, and knowing what human nature is like. As the people here all know that they can use both the upper and lower deck to get to their floor, if they're told to use the escalator when they enter into their building, I think a lot of people would ignore it. And that effectively could potentially defeat the system. And now, let's start this video off by taking a ride this very interesting double deck lift. This lift goes 5.5 meters a second and it's got a capacity of two times 1,000 800 kilograms. That is a 3,600 kilogram capacity at 5.5 meters a second. That is one powerful lift. 
Also, this building only has 26 floors. These lifts are crazily over-engineered for this building. So let's ride it. Elevator D, going up. Doors closing. Now, let's surf it. And it was at this point when I discovered it's actually a double deck lift. And this, they can listen to my reaction. <gasps> That's a double deck. It's a double deck. No fucking way. No, why is it double deck? Holy shit! Now, let's now have a look at something which I've always wanted to see on a double deck lift. And that is the space in between the upper and lower cars. This space is ever so interesting. And sadly, because of the mechanism for the lower car's door, there isn't enough room to crawl into this little space. Just imagine if I was able to get into this little space and surf a lift from here. That would just be completely awesome. Now, let's go and take a look at this double deck setup and notice that sometimes using the destination dispatch we're sometimes given the upper car and sometimes we're given the lower car. Oh, we've got a lower car this time. It's giving us a lower car. Elevator F, going up. Oh, we've got a lower car this time. It's giving us a lower car. Lifts crowded. Please wait. And renew your call. Also, one other interesting thing is normally a destination dispatch system always gives you a certain lift that you have to take. Now, this is more efficient as you can group people together going to the same floor. But on floors midway up the building, this can actually be not efficient in certain scenarios. This is because a destination dispatch system doesn't know how full the lifts are going to get. And sometimes this ends up meaning that a lift stops at a certain floor and the person trying to get in the lift can't get in because the lift's full of people. So this is actually really interesting because sometimes, depending on a certain situation, sometimes the destination destination dispatch system gives people a certain lift card to group people together but other times this destination dispatch system simply says take the next lift going in your direction and that is because uh, the system can then work out which lift cars are full of people and which lift cars aren't and then stop the lift cars that are not full of people at the midway floor to pick up additional passengers so it's very much an algorithm based decision whether you're given a specific lift or if you're given any lift that is clever doors closing Wow, look underneath those two.
Select floor by pressing again. Select floor by pressing again. It'll count for him, I think. G. And you've got M. M. One. Two. Nine. And ten. And press again. Select floor by pressing again. Ten. Lift. D. The floor. Ten. On forward and right. Thank you.